Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Midwest DIY video. Today we're going to be mounting our generator plug on the side of the house. So this is the back, that'll be going into the house, and this is our plug. Uh, so I'm going to show you, or take you through how, uh, how I'm going to figure out where I want to put the, the box on the side of the house, and how I mark stuff out on the inside and then the outside, how we actually get the wires through the wall, and just, um, just generally how you do this. So um, let's get started. All right, YouTube, so now that we're back outside, um, <clears throat> I, I want the generator about in this area because I want to be able to set it in the, the rocks here, and this is really close to my box. The, the box is straight ahead of you. So it'll be a short wire run. It's on the back of the house, um, and it's right next to my garage, so it'll be easy to fuel up. So this is about where I want it. A couple things to take note of. So you'll see... Um, <sighs> You'll see right here is a piece of wood that somebody screwed into the brick. I want to miss that because I don't really feel like drilling through the brick. Um, these are water faucets. So one of them's um, hot water or one of them's hard water and one of them's soft water. And so I know that these go through the actual wood. So somewhere the brick turns to wood. I know these go through the actual wood because I've been behind the house. So I'm just kind of going to mark out where I want this. So there's, I know these are right about where I want to do put the hole in the crawl space. Cause that over there. So I know that between those two spigots and the dryer vent is the floor. Cause the dryer vent comes out on top and the spigots are, are um, in the crawl space still. And I don't wanna, I wanna drill my hole in the, you know, 12 inches or whatever I have of wood in the crawl space so I don't have to run the wire up and through the drywall. I can just run it straight out. So we're just gonna take some measurements. So I'm just gonna take a few measurements. I know I want the plug to be level with those. I'm just gonna see how much I have. Get yourself a tape measure, you know, and I can put this anywhere, you know, five or six feet. The only thing I have on this side is my air conditioner. So I can put it anywhere in the middle. So now that I have that reference point, I'm gonna go downstairs and see um, the best place that it would make sense to put that on. All right, YouTube, so now we're in the crawl space. Those two um, hoses right there, that's my two outside spigots. So now we've got our reference point from the outside out of the inside, we can kind of figure out where we want to put this. Because I'm going to measure from that leftmost spigot right there, probably, you know, as far over as I can get, just to give myself some distance from them and just see how far that is. And that way we'll have a place to start drilling on the outside. So from the leftmost side of this spigot to the to the truss is 23 inches. So I can put it anywhere between nine and 23 inches and we'd be okay. So nine and 23, so I want it to be kind of far away from these just so it's out of the way from all that crap when I set the generator down. <clears throat> and make sure you're on your hose and not the, the plate that it goes into. So 23 inches right here. Just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room, I'm gonna put it at 20. So that's where I'm gonna drill my hole. So all right, we're back in the shop, and now I need to I need to you know get my hole saw bit to drill a hole. So I've just got this kit of hole saw bits. Um, that I'm making it for now, and I need one that'll fit that that will make sure that this fits through the wall. So you take our, let's say this is inch and a quarter, or 32 millimeter, and that's gonna fit over our hole nicely. So if we drill that hole inside of the house, we should be good. Um, and I bought this pipe knowing that it just had to be big enough to fit eight gauge wire, and then it had to be, you know, I wanted it to be pretty close to the inside diameter of one of these hole saw bits. So we put our pilot bit in. Oh, I need a little bit after.
Okay, let's go drill ourselves a hole. And looking at it, that's probably just a little bit high. So I'm gonna put my pilot right below it. <clears throat> clean see how the bits full I'm gonna go clean that out and then we'll get back to drilling okay now that our bits clean we can get back to it I was running out a bit you see how this you know this was going all the way in so what I did is put a 3 8 chuck in the in the drill bit and a nine millimeter socket seems to fit this thing so that's how we're gonna finish doing this and then I'm going to fish my bit out of there but it looks like we went through We're gonna test fit our jig. That's how she's gonna look. It turned out pretty good there. So I'm gonna go through uh, into the crawl space again and I'm gonna fish the wires through and then uh, come back. All right, YouTube, so we've made some progress here. Um, as you can see, I got the wires fed through from the back here and then I started wiring them in. So you have your ground which will go to your ground strap here. And then your ground in this um, box, the ground goes in the back of the plug, that green wire connects there. And then this wire will also go right up here. And then I'm just gonna finish connecting these in. So it's 240 volt for the generator. So you have your red hot, your black hots back here. And then you have your white neutral. So you just push the wires in and screw them in like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna slide this cover on. So I'm gonna finish doing that, uh, and then I will come back and let you know when I'm done. All right, we got all our wires plugged in back there. So your red and your black hot and your white neutral. The green ground goes down here and then plugs up in with the ground from the, the wire. We've got this 95% put together. So what we're gonna do is um, screw it into the wall now. Now, got those little holes to go through the drywall or go through your siding or whatnot. So I've got these three and a half inch outdoor screws. These are probably overkill, but it's what I had in the garage. So what we're gonna do, is gonna throw a level on this. Get it, you know, kind of level. screw in Too hog wild, crack your siding or nothing, just make sure it's gonna stay in there. Tweak that just a little bit. Okay. Then there's two more that go on the bottom. There we go. 
That's good enough for the outside of the house. Put this third screw in. Slide our box down on here. There we go. Then put our little keeper screw in here. And there you go. And we've got an outside generator plug for your house. You saw me put the uh, plug in the outside, and now we're back in the crawl space, just finishing up this project. So you see, that's where the plug went through. You can follow our wire here. Get you down here. So there's our wire. Just got it stapled to the trusses. It goes back in there and up into the box. This little hole right here, this is just directly to the outside. So we're gonna get some spray foam in there. I'm going to use the Great Stuff Gap and Crack Sealer um, just to fill this up so that we have a uh, um, insulated hole rather than just um, nothing. Because if, if you could feel this, you could feel it's drafty. And this stuff gets all over everything. So don't be wearing clothes you care about um, and don't be wearing gloves you care about. I even, um, we have a bunch of these laying around, so... Stick it in there, and this is expanding foam. So it doesn't take a ton. I just put some down in there. Just kind of give it a good dousing down. And you can see it's already expanding. See how it's peeling out of there? So don't go hog wild with the stuff. You only need this down it's up in there <sighs> and like I said this is in the crawl space so it doesn't need to be pretty it just needs to be airtight so Okay. Just to show you guys what it looks like. So uh, I ended up going on the back side and putting some in on the front here too. So spray foam all around. And then we have our generator plug. Well, uh, thanks for watching another Midwest DIY video. If this video helped you out, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Lots more DIY stuff coming out around the house. Um, if there's stuff you like, stuff you didn't like, throw that down in the comments. If there's things you do differently, you know, let me know and why. I'm always happy to learn. You know, just DIY is kind of just learn by doing and you do your research and then you try your projects. So always happy to learn new things. And I think that's it for this one. So thanks guys and have a good day.